Welcome back to another episode of the Energy Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me as always is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian, we have made a prediction, Brian, that the success of Supergirl would be very important to, to James Gunn's vision of what the DC world uh, could look like and, and its characters. And we sort of made the prediction that, uh, not, yeah, the prediction that uh, James Gunn would probably direct, but no. They've chosen someone else. This is confirmed, right, Brian? It's in talks. He hasn't signed yet, but yes, there, there's there's talks happening. What's his name? Craig Gillespie. What has he done? Uh, probably most notable for I, Tanya, the uh, Tanya Harding biopic okay. starring Margot Robbie. Um, also, for the families, directed Cruella, which was that uh, Emma Stone adaptation okay. on Disney. Um that was well received, right? Pretty well received, yeah. I mean, his movies have generally been well, like well reviewed. Like he did a small baseball movie called Million Dollar Arm. He did a Chris Pine um, kind of boating rescue movie called Finest Hours. He actually most recently directed a movie about the GameStop meltdown called Dumb Money that came out last fall. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Which yeah, yeah. I didn't love, but that, that got pretty decent reviews as well. And then he's done some work in, he's been nominated for a couple Emmys in television. Like he did uh, the, that Pam and Tommy, uh, Pamela Anderson, Tommy Lee miniseries. He directed that. It's an interesting name to have in the mix for this type of movie. Like this is not someone who's, you know, like we were talking about, like Justin Lin has been around franchises and all of a sudden he shows up as a rumored name for Spider-Man. This guy doesn't have any connection to big IP, you know? And so it's an interesting choice from that standpoint. But yes, I am a little surprised that it's not James Gunn who's actually going to do this one himself. What do you think is... Obviously, we can turn to saying that perhaps James Gunn uh, has a lot more to deal with and doesn't have the time or capacity to take on this because his mind is uh, consumed with Superman and even perhaps, Brian, uh, Batman Brave and the Bold. Adam Richen has already stated, and you know he's already stated, I would love to be Batman. Who wouldn't want to be Batman? He's Batman. In my in my brain, he's Batman already, yo. Forget about everybody else. I don't want to hear nobody's name. Nobody else deserves this role but that guy. We all know what's at stake. Your thoughts on this choice? Well, assuming it 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 reaches contract. It's like I said, I'm intrigued. I'm like, I'm not blown away by it. I'm not out on it. I think it's out of left field. In defense of gun. If this universe is to be long-term successful, I don't think he can be in the business of directing everything right and left, right? He has, they have to be able to find a variety of voices to tell these stories, right? So, and, and if they're typically going to lead with the writer, that means you're usually going to have someone different directing. Like, unless you know from the outset, hey, this is the writer director of this project, then I would say you're going to have a writer first and a director second. So... It could be good. Again, like this whole movie, like the fact that Tom King is right there, it's his story being adapted. He's not the one like adapting it. Obviously, Anna Nagir is the screenwriter, but like you got the, you know, the person who created it. Shepherd Saying that, yay, this is dope. So like, again, every decision that gets made on this project, I'm kind of like, well, then he must see something in Gillespie's work that he feels like could connect back to this material. So I'm like, okay, I'm intrigued. That's just not a nobody, right? This is more of an out. This is a little more of an artsy outhouse director, like a little more indie type of guy than than a uh, a big, like I said, a big studio type of guy. So that's what makes me kind of interested. But there's risk there. You know, you see some of these small directors, and Marvel's done this. You know, and they're like some of like you know the Russos when they got hired to do Captain America: Winter Soldier, where everyone was kind of like, huh? They had done Community. But obviously that, you know, the rest is history there. So you never quite know, right? People see things in work that that leads them to this conclusion. But like I said, I am still modestly surprised that for this particular project, James Gunn did not take it on, given he seems so high on its progression. And I do think the degree of difficulty is going to be pretty difficult, as we said, given the track record of female-led superhero productions. Despite the choice, Brian, um... Certainly, there's something there. Tom King being there certainly leads us to believe that he knows he knows what he wants, right? And so he's possibly has been 
um, uh, certainly influencing the decision making behind some of these choices. So we will just have to wait and see still because of the story that they're trying to tell Brian, the, the, the interest and intrigue and in, in, is still there and excitement. Uh, because I guess everything coming out of other than creature commandos, I still don't, I, 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 yeah, I, I don't you. get, I'm kind of like, I, 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 I don't, when I I don't see get it. that. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be hard, Brian, especially after seeing X-Men. <sighs> Yeah, let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of of, of this uh, possible choice for Supergirl. Brian, I, I had to check the calendar to see if it was Monday. <laughs> Meaning April Fool's Day for those of you watching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the atrocity that was Ma Matrix Remix, the Revolutions. That's what it was called by because I get I can't get it straight. Resurrection. These days. Resurrection. Resurrection. The revolution was bad too, but <laughs> but it's like Brian, what 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 how do you say yes to this, Brian? If you're in the room, how do you say yes to this? So I had a, like a strange take on this a little bit. Um I agree. So I don't know why there needs to be a Matrix 5, which was officially announced. Um but I will say this. Drew Goddard is writing and directing this. Official. Drew Goddard behind the Daredevil Netflix series. Nominated for an Oscar for his screenplay for The Martian. Starring Matt Damon. Great movie. If you haven't seen it. I actually am slightly intrigued by this movie. Because the Wachowskis are not directing. Okay. Because if you go through their filmography... They have an indelible mark on science fiction because of the first Matrix movie. That's a Hall of Fame movie. You don't get, you don't, you know, you get a jersey hung in the rafters for that alone. But Reloaded, Mixed, Revolutions, Bad, Resurrections. Yes, people, I get it. I get the, what they were doing. It didn't work for me. Speed Racer, no. Cloud Atlas, no. Jupiter Ascending, Atrocity. I can go on. Everything <laughs> they have touched, other than Matrix 1, has not been good. So for this to be taken by someone else, I actually think is a good thing. I'm not saying I need to see it. I'm not saying I necessarily want to see it. But if you were going to try it, I actually like the fact that it's in someone else's hands. The fact that it's in someone else's hands and the fact that someone else said, yo, this is what went wrong. I can make this dope. And he pitched the hell out of it. And they said, yes, right? And that's yeah. easy, easy. Which is what they said happened. They said he brought them the idea, blew them away, and they greenlit it on. That's basically what the story is. That's what. And I knew nothing. Let's see if they can, Brian, uh, reinvigorate the fan base. The, the ones that are original classic Matrix fans in terms of that first movie being the one and the rest being, you know what I'm saying? Still, those those have their fans, but the last one really like, even if you're a Matrix fan, you can't defend it. I'm sorry. If you try, good luck. So that this is an opportunity to get those people back on board. So let me ask you a question. We have a new writer and director. Do you think this movie has a better chance of success if we do not bring back Keanu? Yes. Car yes. I think so too. That's riskier, but I actually think it's liberating if you say we're in the Matrix world, but we have a different story with characters we don't have 20 years of history with. I'd rather do this with somebody else. I, that's it. That's, that's it. I don't want to see Keanu Reeves waste away right before my eyes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> enough is enough. I don't want to see none of those people. I mean, nobody wants to see Jada. And it just became a video game, yo. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's one of the things that the last two for me, and, and the last one has a lot of, like Reloaded has moments. Like Reloaded for me works at points, doesn't work at points. But the thing I like about the, I mean, obviously the first one's literally groundbreaking from start to finish. 
I like that the second one tries to do some different things. To me, that's what the, the third and the fourth, there's really nothing revolutionary there. Like, I think I was really disappointed. Like visually, the fighting in the fourth one, it's actually not that good. Feels like it steps back from what we were doing before. And so that's why I'm kind of like, yeah, you know, new characters, new viewpoint. You know, obviously Drew Goddard, he, he wasn't him that shot it, but obviously the, the, the fight scenes in Daredevil season one were innovative when we saw them. So this is a guy who has delivered some stuff that we hadn't seen before. Um, I should say the only original cast member I would tolerate, albeit in a small role, would be Carrie Ann Moss. Um, that, it's, it's ironic. I actually would rather, if, if you wanted to c- somehow connect this to Resurrections and everything that came before, remember, she's the one, right? Now she's not, she's the one with the gift, with the power. If you wanted to have her in some sort of handoff, smaller role, just to remind us of Trinity, that's fine. But um I would settle for all new characters. Um, so hopefully, but we'll see. And, and they did not, I will say, they did not announce any actors. This is this is Drew Goddard, Matrix 5. That's it. So it does seem like a clean slate to start. Yeah, that would be the hope, man. Let's see, because I, 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 Keanu Reeves is dope, but I'd rather see him be the beyond the, in Secret Wars than, 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 another matrix go at it you know it's like seeing rocky six you know it's like i'm done seeing rocky in the ring fighting tyson whoever, whoever antonio tarver it was that was that was cringeworthy but no but in fair, but but i was gonna say to that point which is a great point i totally agree with you kugler figured out how to make stallone relevant in creed right so he was able to import an original character and completely reinvent the character in a believable way that was really gripping. That's the only, but like the Matrix isn't really the type of franchise where that makes sense, right? Like how do you take Keanu's character of Neo and like do that to it? Like how do you, how do you create it up? It feels very constraining. And I don't even think, honestly, when I watch Resurrections and I, I went back and watched it again on Max later on, Keanu didn't feel fully invested to me. He was having a career resurgence. He revisited kind of some of his beloved characters, right? He went back to Bill and Ted. He went back to the Matrix. And like, more power to him. I'm, you know, by all accounts, that guy's done a lot of good in this world. So he can do whatever he wants. But he did not have the look of a star who was all in to me in that movie. Let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of the developments of a Matrix Five. And uh, your thoughts on uh, the choice for the possible choice of Supergirl. Let us know in the comment section below, and uh, we'll see you next time on the Nerd Report. The show goes on! Yeah!